What's up people? Welcome to today's episode of G on Tour. I'm here, Toronto Airport, early o'clock in the morning. Mr. Matteo Luxardo, Hello, everybody. aka El Jefe in the house. That's Spanish for boss, isn't it? It is. Fantastic. <laughs> Matteo has the itinerary for today. Matteo, what are we doing today? We are flying to... We are flying to Calgary, then we will drive to uh, Banff. Then yeah. we have a master class. Then we will do a hike, 45 minutes hike. Hiking? Yeah, hiking to see some uh, waterfalls. Yep. And then we have a, a park distillery visit. It's a small distillery, distillery in, uh, in uh, Banff. Then at 8 o'clock we have a cocktail competition. Then there's your takeover. A takeover. One o'clock maybe will be. What time do I start the takeover? Midnight. I start work at midnight. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Yeah, that's the effect of yesterday night. <laughs> so, obviously, it was an early start today. Arrived in Banff. Rushed to the bar. Did the masterclass. Really tired. Want to check into the hotel. But I've never been to Banff. Banff is amazing. Look at the background. It's a freaking mountain. So basically, we are one of our people. He's going to show us some touristy things. Apparently, we are on a mission right now. Logic for the mountains. Let's go and find a waterfall. I like waterfalls. restaurant bar so this place is wicked you walk in the front door all of a sudden it's a liquor store and it's a restaurant and it's a distillery all in one um, we are the first and only craft distillery in the world that operates in a national park so that's a big thing is the, the uh, uh, conservation of water. Uh, the grain that we get is within the uh, 100 kilometer radius, uh, high altitude farms in Alberta. And then we put it in the middle of a still room that everybody can see. Introduce. Uh, hey, my name is Matt Hendricks. I'm the master distiller here at Park Distillery in uh, Banff, Alberta, Canada. I uh, got a sweet spot going on, backcountry cabin in the middle of Banff Avenue, two stories, 200 seat restaurant with a still right in the middle. Uh, vodka, gin and whiskey is our game and uh, uh, making cocktails from the beginning product to the end at the bar. Yeah, and then, so you were telling me earlier on that your, your drinks that you're making is heavily influenced by the nature around you. And we also got to try something really special uh, when we went um, for a little walk earlier on. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so what we were tasting today was the local spruce botanical, uh, Engelman spruce, goes in our alpine dry gin. Cool. Awesome, brother. So um, I guess one quick question, what is your favorite cocktail and why? Uh, yeah, man, definitely the Sazerac, one of the oldest cocktails in uh, history. Uh, a, a bit of uh, flame spritz absinthe to caramelize that on the glass. Uh, two ounces of a, a true rye, a little bit of uh, sugar just to sweeten the touch. Uh, Peychaud's bitters, don't be shy. Stir that up, discard the ice and absinthe, pour it out neat, a little bit of uh, lemon zest. One of the classics for sure. Awesome. Guys, we're here, Luxardo competition, the first ever competition in Banff. We're up to con contestant number three right now. We've got our wonderful judge over here, co-judge. Um, please introduce yourself. My name's Neela. Five 
minutes does not seem like long, but five minutes can be an eternity. Yeah? Just keep calm, do your thing. What's going on? So it's the morning, we had the competition last night. Um, I actually feel, feel, feel pretty good. I feel great. I feel, yeah, great I feel well. better. Okay, so I'm here with number one judge, Neela, and we are getting swagged out courtesy of Park Distillery. We've got matching hats. Uh, we've also got, let me show this off. Check out this. Oh, full of the swag. Park Distillery. Mateo Luxardo is, is shuffling oh, through some yeah. t shirts there. <laughs> So the competition last night was amazing. I would have filmed more of it, but my phone ran out of batteries. Um, I was I literally blown away by the quality um, of drinks. Yeah, everything was great. I thought that the competition level was like pretty awesome. I thought that the majority of the people came in really creative, really strong. Smoked syringes, we saw cocktails weird shrub, inside the like ice shrub cubes. infusions, cocktails inside ice cubes. Yeah. We had like, some it was caviar. all very creative. Yeah. Was nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bam, next level cocktail scene. Make sure you come down, definitely check it out. Uh, if you're go. ever in Calgary, go see Neela at her bar. Yeah, we're gonna pizza and wine, or Frenchie, Frenchie uh, wine bar, or bread. Okay guys, I'm kitted out. I've got tons and tons of swag. I'm here with two awesome guys. I've got one of the finalists from the competition yesterday, who is also a master distiller, and then another guy who's running this awesome program to do with craft distilling as well. That's, uh, yeah. Bryce Parsons, uh, master distiller at Last Best Brewing Distillery in Calgary, Alberta. It was awesome being not only in here in Banff, but being part of the competition as well. It's a gorgeous day in Banff right now. My name is Aaron Prasad. I am uh, one of the founders of the Craft Spirit Collective. I'm a group that's trying to bring together all of the amazing craft distilleries that we have in this province. So community, 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 that is what we are doing. Such a great community. Uh, and then also having like international brands like Luxardo be part of it. Just it's, drop it, in. it means a lot of us. And we have a product bomb uh, by Letitia. My name is Letitia King. I am the first ever brand ambassador for Park Distillery, where we just spent all of our time here. Uh, we do a barrel aged Martinez. Uh, we use Luxardo in our product. This is something that's aged for six months in uh, ex Jack Daniels bourbon casks, full cast strength. Uh, this is the reason why we're all here, everybody. Thank you. This person's it's excellent stuff. Delicious booze, that's why we're here. However, right, delicious booze is why we're here. Yeah. However, for other people who might be coming to Banff, right, what is one thing that they must do while they're here? Come to Park Distillery and do the free tour at 3.30 p.m. every day. With the cell. But I don't disagree. I did it yesterday. Definitely check it out. Number one is uh, just enjoy Banff in the evening. Go out to all the great restaurants, all the great bars. Really get your night on. And then get up super early in the morning and work that booze off with a hike. Uh, definitely do the hikes. Johnson Canyon is gorgeous. One of the most beautiful places on earth. Cool, man. Awesome. Hey, you heard it. Come to Banff. Look at this place. It's mountains. There's more mountains. There's more mountains. This shit is pretty, bro. Me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. 